In situations where money talks, everybody of a desirable interest would spare their ears to listen very carefully and where power and political influence seems to rule in a country. Then this ultimately and inevitably becomes corruption's playground too. In this fast-paced world, there are many corrupt individuals who are notoriously famous for their illegal and unlawful deeds at the cost of state taxes and other funds that don't belong to them, situations of this. Nature has spread throughout the world and isn't uncommon in most cases. Here are the top seven most corrupt politicians in the world. Number seven, Alberto Fujimori. Former president of Peru, a funny name, this man has but a clever mindset, at cleverer than all his other corrupt pals, thus far as the amount estimated in his corruption. The ranking value is rather staggering Alberto Fujimori is of Asian descent, which primarily means disciplined, sharp-witted, and intelligent, as well as mentally sharp since they have that Asian blood, which is known to the world kidnapping and murder, as well as guilty. By the court of law, in his act of ordering death squad, military men to do the dirty work of kidnappings and killings during presidency, and with an estimated fraud value of $600 million, stolen from the state. Number 6. Jean-Claude Duvalier, former president of Haiti. We all know that action star Jean-Claude Van Damme has been the bad boy dominating the action genre of Hollywood since the 80s and there was only one of him. Jean-Claude Duvalier, on the other hand, obviously tried to imitate this actor. Due to his first name being the same and very humorously, couldn't come close. It seems some people in power have seemed to be waving the flag of a trend that has president title. Simply means I own everything and everybody in a country, and this is where abuse of power gets to the best of their morality and beliefs and basically, everything else changes once somebody comes into full power and control, it wouldn't be very long until their power is taken ahead where everything is now swindled by their intimidating and authority figure finger. Duvaleria is one of the most corrupt politicians ever, everything. Seems to point in the direction of corruption from here onwards like father like son, they say, and seems as though Papaya de Valera. The father of Jean-Claude Duvalier has been terrorizing Haiti for more than a decade to which the name struck fear in the locals a man that claimed to bring about an economical revolution to Haiti's starving population, felt nothing to embezzle between $300 to $800 million during his time in office. Surely one of the most corrupt politicians in the world. Number 5. Sania Bacha The former president of Nigeria, as it stands to the world is automatically classed as a war-torn country, and quite frankly who could blame the world for thinking so lowly of them when civil war seems to be so popular. The locals are somewhat getting better at it. War-torn countries require a leader that can turn an entire nation around command in operations of war and win at it to protect. The name and people of a country there will always be a need for self-improvement personal greed while the rest will suffer dearly and that ultimately becomes the major downfall of every country thereafter, where as bad as things are as it is will become worse. After a man so-called leader like Sonia Chiba, who is often regarded as one of the most corrupt politicians who could steal around $4 billion into personal private accounts as well as jewelry to the value, that can supply a 100-year salary to the average Nigerian which was attempted to be stolen from his residence by robbers that police have discovered. And ironically though, after the immediate shock of his death, his wife tried to flee with four suitcases of stolen money. Also, this is where hilariously the rubber gets rocked and the to buy his own wife. It's more of comical actor fraudulence rather than a clever one. Mr. Chiba earns himself. The title of one of the funniest. Up to politicians that the world has seen. Number 4 Slobodan Milosevic Former president of Yugoslavia in terms of fraud, one could ask oneself. What is the limit that somebody could reach in terms of the amount of money? They could take it from the country without being caught. And for how long can they pull this off? There must be a certain genius behind this. Is it isn't as easy as mugging a homeless man on the street of his last penny to steal from something as large as an entire country. Mr. Malose, however, has gone beyond just money fraud in this case and has been convicted. According to BBC, report of some high-profiled killings, and being the head behind assassination attacks, killing of witnesses, or people who were brave enough to bring him to justice. Plus, he's also one of the most corrupt politicians on our planet. $100 billion shelled out to compensate for campaign bombings that took place and caused collateral damage to this. 
estimated worth and figure is no joke and certainly not to a child's game, all this by the handiwork of one man. And his accomplices, Slobodan Milosevic, even notoriously earned himself a street named after him. Number 3. Mamadou Sissiko. Former president of Zaire from this point on the story of fraudulent acts become interlinked with each below, this rank as it. Seems that the next two rankings below, more butter says. The hike has been interlinked and confirmed as accomplish has that were involved in what is estimated to be a $50 billion. Three men scorned from all three of the countries that these men, such as Zaire Philippines and Indonesia. This is the sum equal to the yearly budget of the West. How the three men managed to pull. This off is somewhat of a mystery. Let the other two remain a mystery for now. More butter says Siko is ranked among the most corrupt politicians in the world and part of the three-man tag team cross-country in their reign of joint venture power man, fraud, commitments. And dedication has personally been reported to embezzle an estimated amount of around 12 billion by himself. These figures certainly don't land isn't exaggerated either. Number 2. Ferdinand Marcos Former president of the Philippines, as part of the three musketeers, and why we call them marketers is due to their ability to put on a reputable and accountable appearance to their public of being, respectable leaders of the country, until that mask comes out and the robbers are revealed. It's not inappropriate to call them masked robbers, either. And with this mask, they sure did create a phantom of their very own opera dramatic play. Yes. You've guessed it, Ferdinand Marcos, Former president of the Philippines is a mystery, man to in the three-man joint, a venture of billions to be estimated amongst each other with regards to their fraudulent acts making the same mistake, twice is considered as insanity. But then again, who are they to know who's going to rob the entire nation until it happens? Ferdinand Marcos has been reported to have stolen 5 to 10 billion dollars of his own as well during the year. From 1972 to 1986 in his time of presidency. He came second on our list of the most corrupt politicians on the planet. Number 1. Point Mohamed Sohardo Former president of Indonesia Mystery, man, that ranks number one on the list of the most corrupt politicians in the world is Mohamed Sohardo seeing as because he's managed to top the cake with a shiny-looking cherry of being able to take more than his joint venture pals Mabutu and Ferdinand, M and F. The value that he is worth in the estimated value of notorious presidential fraud it deserves a campaign or gay show of its own whether winner of who can embezzle the most out of a country wins and Mohamed Sohardo seems to have won it big during his 30 years, presidential duration of office in the country's highest seat during this time of presidency. It would have obviously given Mr. Sohardo more than enough time to take a few billion for himself into. Absolutely. No surprise. Did he surpass the fraudulent amount of arrest? Reaching a staggering figure of 15 to 35 billion in stone cold hard assets and Swiss accounts that were perfectly legal in terms of its existence. But again, where money talks, the karate has will listen very closely. And so, it has been pulled off a man that long in presidency can be accused even without evidence for fabricating votes every now and then or banking hard on campaigns to make the greatest impression every year to the vulnerable people who were just forced to believe it. Thanks for watching. Check out the above videos, follow us on Facebook. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.